RSX already died. I put it in front of my house on the street. Four minutes, the battery's already dead. So I gotta jump it again. What is going up guys? Uh, $10 to anyone who can get where that reference is from. Another YouTuber, he's not big at all, so I'd be really surprised. He's from Connecticut though, there's your hint. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the high pressure fuel pump in the Mazda Speed 3. But I was lucky enough, because I don't have the proper tools to take apart the high pre pressure fuel pump internals. Usually you need a vice grip of some sort to kind of get the internals out of the high pressure fuel pump, and I don't have that. I don't have any workspace. My workspace is my garage and my bag of tools. That's all I got. So I managed for the same exact price as a brand new um, high pressure fuel pump internal. I got a whole assembly all set and done. Yeah, this is my first time doing this. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a new experience. I've never done it. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I don't know if it's gonna suck. I don't know if it's easy. I don't know if it's hard. All I know is I have a reference, um, like a how to do it on like piece of paper or on my phone rather, because it's 2020. I like working on my car. Quarantine's boring. It gets me something to do and I can finally start upgrading my car now once I put these internals in and get a tune very very soon shout out Justin at Freak Tune I have no idea how to do this because I've never done it before but we're gonna figure it out and it's gonna be a great time now we try to let it cool down first because I've had it idling for a half hour playing musical cars now the brackets just the 10 mil Call you? Or just bring it to me. Film your video. <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed the high pressure fuel pump. See, it's the whole the whole assembly, the whole housing. It's not just the internals. So I got lucky that I didn't have to do the work of doing that. Oh my god, there's so much oh there's so much crap under this battery box. Woo! That's a heavy bitch. Oh my god. I cannot wait to show you guys that. That is the crustiest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is really a oh my god. Alright guys, so as you can clearly see, I lost my mind and I've taken apart a lot of shit. The main problem I'm having, battery corroded battery box is just fucked beyond all recognition. I have this because I could taste the battery acid in my mouth and I was like, I gotta do something about that. There's so much battery acid. There's two bolts that are so rusted. This car is just so rusted and just disgusting. It sucks because like this car runs beautiful, but it's just New England. It kills anything you want to do to this thing. I've only been at this for two and a half hours. I cannot get the battery box out. I've taken out the intake and everything else. And I want to get it out because I just want to clean it. It's disgusting. I kind of just want to buy a new one. Like this is ridiculous. I'll update if something else happens. We resorted to the Mazda Speed 3 forums. I got a lot of stuff off. It's just can't get the battery box off. And I just kind of want to get it off at this point just to get it off and replace it. Day one over. Well guys, it's the next day and I finally got the battery box out. Now I'm just working on taking off the intake and the turbo inlet. Freaking high pressure fuel pump. It's gonna be great. Fuck it. Oops. Ah, there goes my whole thing. Boom. Shorty, she just bought my ice cream. Smell brighter than your motherfucking high beams. Yeah. And she clean, yeah, she be icy. Met her mama and her mama really like me. Yeah. Shorty, sweet. Yeah, you say that every single time, bro. Fucking high beams, yeah. And she clean, yeah, she be icy. Met a mama and a mama really like me. I've been trying to cut this shorty for a grip. The way she looking, you would think this chick was having sin. Yeah, always on my mind like she been paying rent. Yeah, yeah. Let her read my notes and I got no regrets. She hit my wounds with just one kiss like she my medicine. Ain't no secret, can I call her off? Oh my god, the stock one is just 
Well, that's all the time I have for today. Tomorrow, we're gonna install and remove and install the new high pressure fuel pump. And that's all we're gonna do tomorrow because I have to wait in the mail for my top mount intercooler and my three and a half inch intake to come in the mail. Also, I don't think I can get this car running until I buy a Cork Sport battery box for the ECU relocation kit, which sucks because it's a pretty penny. If I can't find it used, which no one's offering right now, and I asked in the forums, so we'll see how that goes. Oh my rust. Like me, yeah. Hey. Shorty sweet just like my ice cream. Smile brighter than your motherfucking high beams. Yeah, yeah. And she clean, yeah, she be icy. Met a mama and a mama really like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do my thing, let me feel my groove. Yeah. You know when we click, they can't touch our mood. Now, these blue and yellow clips, you gotta spread apart and just lift up on them. We just gonna blast past all of them haters. We ain't gonna front with them instigators. They are really jealous cause they just trying to- Alright, now that we got these two hoses off, we want to take these three E8 bolts off. Trust me, how did I get blessed with a supermodel? I'm not trying to front, I'm just really in denial. Shorty sweet just like my ice cream. Smile brighter than your motherfucking high beams. Yeah, yeah. And she clean, yeah, she be icy. Met a mama and a mama really like me. OEM high pressure fuel pump out. Well, it's the whole assembly. I'm gonna install a fresh new assembly that has the KMD uh, high pressure fuel pump internals. So it's pretty simple for me. Usually you'd have to take off the internals, like unbolt everything and replace all the internals with the aftermarket ones. So all we gotta do is, this is the new one by the way, the KMD internals. I'm gonna lubricate the O-ring. Hmm, this O-ring seems a little loose. That could be a problem. Ah, I took the old O-ring off the stock one and placed it onto my new unit, which I think was a better idea because um, that one fit a lot better. This one was way too loose, you can tell. Hey, look, I switched it to the old unit. That's way too loose. That's I don't want to put that in the car. This one fits a lot more snug. Hi, how you guys doing? <laughs> um, neighbors, yeah. All right, so the new high pressure fuel pump is finally in. It's just, it's not hard to do, it's just a pain. You have to lean over so much in the engine bay and like a little movement and stuff because you get uh, hoses and stuff all in the way and it's just, you're trying not to break anything. And it's a, it's a little pain, but it can get it done easily. You just gotta, just gotta finagle it in there. And shut up, Mark. I'm on the phone with Mark. You can't hear him, but I can. He's a bitch. That's basically that for the high pressure fuel pump. You know, we took the old one out. This is the stock one. You can't really, the, the core is, is is like a bronze on the uh, KMD. That's about it. You really can't tell physically what the difference is. Kind of old, but I'm saving this just in case. If I ever revert to stock or if anything ever happens to the aftermarket one I have, I still have my stock one, so it's good to know. And now that I know how to do it, it shouldn't be that much of a pain next time. Oh, it's like trash. Yeah, other than that, basically good. I gotta wait on my top mount intercooler to come in, I think, in two days, Wednesday. Same thing with my three and a half inch intake and my Cork Sport battery box that I need in order to fit the three and a half inch intake. And the car is basically good to go. I can then install my Cobb Axis port, my V3 that I have, pay 245 for a Freak Tune, E Tune, and then we're pretty much good to go on this car. This thing should make close to 300 wheel is my guess. Not that I can dyno, dyno it right now during these times, but, or so easily I can't. But it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fucking quick, especially for me. Considering this car already feels quick to me. The, the intercooler, the intake, the one step colder spark plugs, the go fast bits blow off valve and, and the high pressure fuel pump with the tune, that's all gonna be crazy. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be spinning in first and probably second, because I'm on stock tires that are just all seasons that are not good. Like after the tune, I'm most likely gonna not have much traction. Yeah, see you guys next time when I'm doing the high, not the high, fuck, I can't talk. See you guys next time when I'm doing the intercooler and the intake in one video. Peace.